Uh, good morning. I think we should get going. We're running a little behind. Um, we dragged on a bit with breakfast. And I, uh, I want to welcome you all once again to the 2014 meeting of the Academy of Neuroscience for Architecture. As I mentioned yesterday, the, the Academy, which we affectionately call ANFA, is built on the premise that the spaces that we inhabit have a, a profound influence over human mental processes and, and behavior. And to get a sense of that, I entreat you to go upstairs, not now, but later, go upstairs and walk to the west. Uh, and as you pass through the gates, you'll enter uh, the courtyard of the original Salk Institute. Actually, it's not the original Salk Institute. The original Salk Institute is the, the sort of scrappy looking temporary building, we call them temporary buildings that are out to the west. But you'll face Khan's masterpiece. And you look to the west, and you can only look to the west at that point. And this this experience uh, is widely recognized as having uh, a powerful impact on our mental processes and our behavior. Um, it's recognized as being one of the most influential pieces of architecture of the past half century. And we can naturally wonder why that's true. What is it about that space that, that causes that kind of reaction? <coughs> and we can start to tease apart that. I study the visual system, so I start to think about uh, visual attributes of it. There are lines of perspective, very strong lines of perspective. There's the, the pattern of, of light and shadow, which is very stark, and it varies across the, the time of day and the seasons of the year. And there's the, the symbolism of the place. The, the towers on the sides are both literally and figuratively like curtains drawn back from a stage. And that stage is, of course, the horizon uh, with the Pacific Ocean on it and the sky. And on that stage, every day plays out the, the most important act of nature, the movement of the sun across the sky and the sea. And every day, it's the same act. And every day, it's different. And this institution, there's the symbolism, this institution is devoted to the study of nature. And it's the combination of all of these things, the visual richness of it, the symbolism, and I could go on and on about the, um, the efficiency of design, that is the way the, the building itself uh, affects the people who operate in it, and affects their creativity. Um, again, this is part of the premise of, of the mission of ANFA, is that buildings like this cause us to be creative. And I think you could argue, and the data will support it, that the creativity that's come out of this institution over the past half century, half century is unparalleled in the area of biomedical sciences. So why does all that happen? How does it happen? And this is where neuroscience comes into the picture. And this, and this is an age-old question, how buildings influence our behavior and our mental processes. You can look back thousands of years, the tradition of Vastaveda uh, from ancient Hindu philosophy is uh, built on the same premise, but they didn't have the modern field of neuroscience that we have today. And so what we've done, what ANFA has done, is bring these two fields together, and this conference we're at is part of that exercise. And so I thought I'd tell you a little bit about how ANFA came into being. Uh, ANFA was, the, the, aside from these age-old traditions, the seed for ANFA was, the founding of ANFA, was the awarding to Jonas Salk over the 25-year award of the AIA, which happened in 1992, I believe. <coughs> and Jonas attended the, the meeting of the AIA to receive the award and spoke with uh, Norman Kutz, who's a member of our board, who at the time, I believe, was a, the, the uh, head of the chair of the College of Fellows of the AIA, and Sil Damianos, who was also on our board and inspired them with regard to the connection between architecture and human mental processes and behavior. And from that, uh, later in the early 2000s, and um, in, in particular in 2003, uh, was born ANFA. And it was born from the, in practice, as part of the legacy project that was uh, headed by the San Diego chapter of the AIA. This was the AIA national meeting was held in San Diego that year. And that group involved Allison Whitelaw and a number of other of the early members of the board and John Eberhard. Uh, John, where's John? There's John. 
John Eberhard um, is the person who actually took the reins early on, who realized that this was a really important connection, and began to build ANFA. And uh, as part of that legacy project, there was an application to the College of Fellows for the Latrobe Fellowship, and it was awarded to this group, and uh, it supported John Eberhardt for, for two years when he came out to San Diego, both to learn about neuroscience and to help get ANFA off the ground. And so there was an er early advisory group that led to that, and then there was the, um, the board was founded. Uh, I was recruited onto the board um, two or three years after that, and the board now consists of 18 people. In addition to that, there are um, is the, what we call the advisory council. These are people who have expressed in, in both in practice and uh, in words an interest in the, in the mission of ANFA, and we've, we've um, asked them to participate in a variety of activities over the last year or so. So that's what ANFA is, and we do a number of things, which you're probably aware of, and you can read more about this on the website, but we're, we've been involved in workshops. We've had workshops on the topic of educational facilities, workshops on healthcare facilities, uh, workshops on um, uh, spiritual places, sacred spaces, and we, this is, of course, our second major international conference that you're attending right now. And so that's, that's what we're about, that's where we came from, and there are several board members here, and I thought I would, um, just so you know who these people are, if you can, I'm gonna read their names out, and if the board members, uh, if I read your name, uh, raise your hand so everybody knows who you are. So in addition to me, that Gil Cook is here, where's Gil? There's Gil over there. Uh, Fred Marks, Fred is our treasurer back there. Allison Whitelaw, there's Allison. Allison is the past president. Um, Eduardo Macano, who's sitting in the front row, you saw him yesterday, he is also a past president. And I mentioned John Eberhard already, he's the founding president of ANFA. Uh, Steve Altman, is Steve here? There's Steve over there. Steve, the, the former president of the New School of Architecture and Design down, downtown. Um, Michael Arbib, who you'll, there he is right in the front row. And I'll introduce Michael in a moment and Gordon Chong, Gordon, there's Gordon, and uh, Betsy Doherty, where's Betsy? I saw Betsy a moment ago, there's Betsy in the back. And Steve Henriksen, Steve I believe is gonna be here later, uh, later today, so you'll get a chance to meet him. In addition to that, there's several advisory uh, council members who are attending, and I think I have everybody on that list who happens to be attending, but this includes Peter Barrett, uh, I know Peter, there's Peter in the back, Peter's come all the way from Manchester in the UK. Uh, Karen Dopkins, where's Karen? Uh, Karen my, was my first graduate student when I moved here to the Salk Institute. She's on the faculty at UCSD right now, and she's a member of our advisory council. Melissa Farling, there's Melissa. Uh, Sergey Gepstein, Sergey will be here later. Uh, he is the person that, who we awarded the Hay Award to uh, and he's gonna talk about that later. later. Upali Nanda, who's back in the back over there. Peter Salk, there's Peter. Uh, Meredith Banaziak, who's back in the back. And Kurt Hunker, and there's Kurt. And Eve Edelstein, I know Eve was here yesterday. Oh, there she is, back over there. Uh, so those are our, our board members and advisory council members who are attending, there are others. Yes, Eduardo. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, I, I mentioned Gordon, and Gordon, I should have mentioned that he's also one of the past presidents. There, are, there have been six presidents, of, I am the sixth president of ANFA, the founding president was John, uh, the, the, uh, Gordon followed John, uh, then, uh, sorry, Rusty followed John, and then Gordon followed Rusty, Rusty Gage, who is uh, on the faculty of the Salk Institute, but happens to be out of town this weekend, unfortunately. He spoke at the meeting uh, two years ago. Uh, then Gordon Chong, and then Eduardo, uh, Allison and me. So that's sort of who we are. Uh, and I, a meeting like this couldn't happen without the help of many other people, both in, um, in actual physical labor and monetarily. And so I want to mention a few of those people. There are a number of volunteers who are here, and I want to introduce them all to you. So all of the, I would like it if all the volunteers could come up to the front for a moment. Uh, and stand right here so that everybody can see who you are. Uh, these people, I met with these people, most of them last, a week ago, 
Saturday, and and um, for the most part, they are well. Many of them are students of architecture, people who are passionate and committed to the mission of Anfa, and this can only happen because of these people. And we're we're extremely grateful. I'm going to let Hannah introduce all of them to you because I'm terrible with names. I'm no better, so volunteers, I apologize. I'm going to use the first names because I'm really bad at pronouncing last names. It's Bethany. Cynthia. Oh, she's going to come tomorrow. Megan Doggerty. I got one name. Ema Sarah Eddington. She's going to be here tomorrow. Miriam tomorrow. Noor. Grace Lee. Jennifer. Situ. Angela's going to be here tomorrow. Javier spent countless hours helping me put some books together, so I figured I'd add, add him in. Eliana, David, Diane, Kevin, and Christine is also going to be here tomorrow. So thank you guys. Help me thank them for. Thank you all very much. And uh, as I mentioned, um, it's also true that we couldn't do this without financial contributions, sponsorships, and there are a number of key sponsorships that I want to, to mention. Uh, we've received um, support from the New School of Architecture and Design, which of course is the major, uh, I think it's actually the only school of architecture in San Diego, which is downtown, from Julia Brown, uh, representing Eli Lilly, from A Light, A Light is an ener energy efficient architectural lighting firm. Steelcase, of course, is uh, involved in designing innovative furniture. Mechano Shade uh, is a window covering uh, a company that devises window coverings focusing on st sustainability and efficiency. Angelus Block, which is involved in sustainable concrete and masonry products. Olson Vranis Design and Build, which is a design build firm from Chicago. Uh, and we have in-kind donations from TW2. This is an, a marketing company. And AIA San Diego, again, uh, a marketing company. The AIA California, <laughs> among other things. <laughs> AIA California Council. This is, um, they helped us with marketing. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> AIA California Council, a professional society partnership. Um, AIA Academy of Architecture for Health and which helped sponsor us for continuing, continuing education credits. Uh, Matt Smith, who is an architect uh, on staff at the University of California and is a member of our advisory council, uh, was helpful in getting the, the, making the arrangements for continuing education credits. And Kate Mears, who is an architect, uh, has a long affiliation with ANFA and is an architect in practice in Denver, Colorado, helped us with the graphics. And so we're very grateful to those people. Uh, and if you see those people around, I hope that you will express your gratitude as I have. So what I would like to do at this point is, is move on because I have a tendency to ramble and I got to stop. And we're five minutes behind schedule. So I'm going to turn things over to Michael Arbib. Michael is a member of the board, as I mentioned already, uh, and has been for several years now. He is also um, a professor of many things so many things I can't remember them all, involving computer science and neuroscience at the University of Southern California. Um, he spends a lot of time here in San Diego in part to participate in the, the work of ANFA. And I've asked him to introduce our keynote speaker for the day, Yohani Palazma. So I'll turn it over to Michael.